CoGB. We deliver innovative mica solutions to meet your insulation needs. Is thickness of mica tape a critical factor for my cable design? This is a very common question asked by most of the cable manufacturers that we meet. If you are referring to thickness uh, of the mica tape for fire insulation properties, uh, then the answer is no. A reason here is that mica tape is made up of three components. Firstly, is the mica paper. Second is a binder. And the third is a backing material. Mica paper in itself is very weak. The mica flakes are bounded together by Van der Waals force alone. Due to this, it needs two other components, which is the binder and backing material, to reinforce it so that it's mechanically strong. The two other components, uh, its fire properties are very poor. It can easily decompose and disintegrate at temperatures above 500 degrees Celsius. Now imagine if a simple fire test at the entry level is already 750 degrees Celsius. So due to this, uh, only mica paper and mica content is the important criteria here for fire insulation properties. Mica paper of densities 80 grams per meter square, 120 grams per meter square, and 160 grams per meter square. So these are the important properties that you should be looking for when you decide on the type of mica tapes to use. However, if you are talking about thickness of the mica tape in respect to the economic impact of a cable design, then the answer is yes, there is an impact. But I will leave it to the next episode for us to explain further.